The James County Complex in Des Moines is once again full as the Iowa High School State Soccer Tournament got underway earlier. Sports Force's Amber Salas is there and she brings us all the action from day one. Day one of the Iowa High School State Soccer Tournament was underway with three Siouxland boys teams in action and it was an all out effort as the quest for a state title begins. Kicking off the day on the pitch was Class 1A with the Western Christian Wolfpack back for their third consecutive year. The 2022 runner ups would face number seven trainer. And it didn't take long, just about 10 minutes in, Caitlin Hartbeck creates some space and takes the lucky shot for the goal as the Wolfpack set the tone early with a 1 0 lead. And Hartbeck was all over the ball today. Here he finds Miles Bacom, who fires off the textbook header, but it's right into the trainer keeper as he holds on for the save. JD Pettit was just on fire for the Wolfpack as well. Trainer comes knocking here with all kinds of bodies in front of the net, but he gets the block to keep this one 1 0, and that's how this one would end. Western Christian takes the win to advance on to the semifinals. That was the first play of the game, and it was just quick, and a lot of it was going through my head. I saw someone coming behind me, but I just thought this one's for my team. Uh, we're a team that likes to score early and get our momentum because we're a team based off morale and everything like that, so that was huge for our team. The Wolfpack advance to the semifinal where they'll face Regina at 10-10 a.m. on Thursday. Over in Class 2A, the Bishop Heelan Crusaders were looking to make some noise back at state for the first time since 2016 as they go to battle with center point Urbana. The Crusaders absolutely dominated possession here in the first half. Heelan gets the cross field shot to Alejandro Suarez and he doesn't miss a beat, firing one that bounces off the keeper for the goal as Heelan takes the 1 0 lead. Just as the first half is about to end, Brian Rios gets the assist again, this time to Jesse Castillo who gets the tap in for the goal. Heelan leads 2 0 heading into the half. And in the second half, Alejandro Suarez is awarded the penalty kick, taking full advantage as he boots in another goal. He would go on to have a hat trick in this one as Heelan dominates, taking the 5 0 win. Uh, you know, this is what we've been working for since my freshman year. Uh, you know, soccer has always been overlooked at Heelan, and we're just trying to show that it's a soccer school now. So we're trying our best to show that. Next up for Bishop Heelan is facing Gilbert in the semifinals. Closing out the day in Class 3A was the Monarchs of Denison Schleswig taking on Marion. The Monarchs are proud to be back at state for the first time since 2007, but it would be a tough battle with undefeated Marion. As time winds down in the first half, Marion Seth Morgan takes a shot here that bounces, but they get the rebound as Sawyer Udelhofen boots it in for the 2 0 lead. But the Monarchs kept knocking in the second half as Christopher Campos takes his chance at the open look, but it bounces off the keeper's glove. But Campos wasn't done yet. He gets a penalty kick late in the game. Marion originally makes the save here, but Campos is right there for the rebound, firing it in for the goal. That's the first goal Marion has allowed all season long. 100% effort to the very end, but the Monarchs run ends here. Three to one is the final. Well, this is, this is something that uh... It, it, it's not a failure. We, we, we got to the state tournament first time since 2007, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's a process and it's something that's not going to, it's not going to end. The action continues Tuesday as the girls tournament gets underway. In Des Moines, Amber Salas, KTIV Sports Force.